What is up guys, Tony here, and today we're doing a very simple tutorial, but a good one. Uh, this is actually a great tutorial that a lot of people need to know how to do to make their cinematics look that much better, to make their promos look that much e epicer, epicer, if that's a word, epicer, I don't know, it's kind of a word. Anyway, it's a word now. Um, basically, it is letterboxing. Letterboxing is a feature that a lot of people know about, they just don't know how to do it, or they don't use it. Um, it's a feature that's built into a lot of editing programs, including Final Cut, you can see right here. If I drag it on there, bam, there's the letterbox. You guys probably can't tell, but there's a letterbox on there. If I go like this, now you can tell. It basically adds the ultra widescreen look to your video, which is cool because on cinematic uh, cuts, this is kind of cinematic in a way or two. Uh, it allows you to have that, you know, epic Michael Bay type film look, um, which is cool. Not Michael Bay, that's kind of a bad example. Maybe Quentin Tarantino. I don't know. Any any really film nowadays has letterboxing. And it just adds that cinematic look that a lot of people uh, are trying to aim for. Anyway, uh, you can use this letterboxing effect. You can change it one by one to all these different sizes, which is always cool. So you can also change the border size to whatever you want manually. Um, but unfortunately, there are a few limitations on this. A, you can't really bring it like all the way up to like the middle, which would be cool because what I would do is something like this. See, I'm very creative with Final Cut, so what I would do is something like this. Ready? I would have it come all the way up to the middle, and then I'd keyframe, and then I'd move forward to like here, and then I'd move it all the way out, and I'd keyframe again, and as you can see, it, it, it slowly zooms out, kind of like you're opening your eye. And that's something that would have been really cool, but of course with this effect, you're slightly limited. Uh, in fact, I couldn't even go all the way out. I mean, I, I don't know how I'd get any smaller than this. I guess you can keyframe it here. I, that'd, that'd be kind of difficult. So basically, as you can see, it's very limited. So a lot of people have used this letterbox effect before, but what's better than this letterbox effect? Well, I will show you. What you do is, well, first off, you can use Andy's letterbox, which is actually a uh, plugin you could find online. Uh, but, you know, that's on FCP Co., I believe. Uh, we're not going to use that, though. We're going to use our own creativity. Creativity. Can't speak. Uh, basically, go into the crop tool, and then you'll have this trim tool. Trim tool will allow you to literally just trim to whatever you want. So you can trim it in at any distance you want. Obviously, you can see up there at the top, it says bottom and top, like the width. That'll allow you to get perfect measurements, so you don't have to get a ruler out and try to measure your screen, which I have done before. So don't act like that's something completely retarded, because I have done it. And it's it still is retarded, because even though I did it, it doesn't make it not retarded. Anyway, like I was saying, what I wanted to do earlier, now that's doable. And I'll show you how. You bring it right down to the middle. Whoops, I just messed up. You bring this right up to the top. And then you keyframe. And then you move forward. That's, whoops, 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 whoops. I'd move forward about this much. And then I'd have another keyframe. But I'd probably hit trim again. Can I hit trim again? Keyframe. And for some reason, I can't click trim. Ah, oh, there we go. I did it. All right, and I bring these both out. And now you can see it opens up like an eye, which is pretty cool. And you can actually have it like blink and things like that and have it open up, which is actually a really cool effect that I tried to do before back in the day, and I couldn't do it, and now I know how, and I wanted you guys to know how. So this is kind of cool. You can trim it out. And it's also just letterboxing, simple as that. Um, so that's pretty much it. I am Tony. If you guys enjoyed this video on how to letterbox and you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe, comment, and like the video. And speaking of commenting, I'd like you to comment what type of video you would like to see involving a tutorial. What type of tutorial you would like to see. If there's any effect that you've seen on YouTube that you want me to do and show you how to do in Final Cut Pro, go ahead and comment below and I'll see if I can do it or I'll direct you to the video that I already have made about that effect. That's pretty much it. I'm Tony. If you guys enjoyed the video, once again, like and comment, and I'll see you guys next time.